Hey guys, Elliot here, and today I'm going to teach you how to create HDR images like this one using Photoshop CS5. For those of you who don't know, HDR stands for High Dynamic Range, and that means the ability to see the details in the light area of a photo, as well as the details in a dark area of a photo. Normally when you take a picture with a camera, it will either expose the light areas of the photo, or the dark areas of the photo. So in this case it would either expose the sky correctly and leave everything down here looking dark or expose down here correctly and leave the sky looking too bright. So what a HDR does is it combines three images one correctly exposed, one two stops overexposed and one two stops underexposed to create a more lifelike image. It makes it look more lifelike because our eyes do this naturally so that we can see everything correctly. So the first thing you need to do is go to your camera and take these three pictures. If you have a DSLR then you should be able to find auto exposure bracketing which will do it automatically for you. But if not then you'll have to do it manually. So once you have your three photos it's time to get to work. Open up Photoshop, go to file, automate and then merge to HDR Pro. Then browse for the three photos. open them and then click OK. Now it's going to combine them all. And give you this photo. But this is nowhere near complete yet. So there's a few presets you can look at. There's surrealistic, low contrast, high contrast, saturated, photorealist, photorealistic, low and high contrast, more saturated and then monochromatic ones. The one that looks the best, in my opinion, is more saturated. So once you've got this, it, it looks alright, but the, now you just need to play around with the sliders until you get it how you like. When you're just look, starting out, it doesn't really matter what all these do, to be honest. You just configure them how you like until you have a nice image. So once you've played around with all the sliders and got it to look like what it wanted to look like, just click OK. Now it's going to create the file and then it's going to merge them into a HDR. So this looks alright. Well, there's definitely some tidying up we can do. For example, you could reduce the noise in this guy area. That's basically it. If you want to know more about HDR, I'd advise that you check out stuckincustoms.com. It's a website from Trey Ratcliffe, and he has some great photos on here. This is what HDRs should look like. And he also has a HDR tutorial that goes into a lot more detail than mine. This is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to HDR. There's definitely a lot more to learn. But thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at L595. See you next time.